What's up you guys? How are you all? For today we are rocking this really cute beanie from Gap. I'll have a link below. I got it on sale for like 15-ish bucks and this is from Urban Outfitters. I got it in orange and I wore it in the past few videos, the other videos, but finally the pink arrived. I love this so much. It's so comfortable and I have it in green, black, and blue as well if maybe orange or pink are not your vibe for today's video i wanted to share with you all a makeup collection declutter video this is going to be the last one that i'm going to be doing for the year i want to say this past year i've done a handful of declutter videos i want to say every month ish or every two ish months or so um, and i really loved going through my collection and really seeing what i use and love and just I love decluttering what I'm just not really into. In these style videos, I usually go through my full collection and I declutter about two to five-ish products per category. I, I will tell you guys, I don't have a massive amount to declutter because I think I'm pretty, almost like up to date with my collection in a way where like I'm pretty satisfied with most of the goods I have. This is just gonna be like the last licks of like the declutter series for the year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll leave my declutter playlist down below in the description box if you guys wanna binge watch on any of those and for some of these items i will post them on poshmark which i'll have linked below as well 10 percent always goes to charity if you guys ever purchase anything from me i always like to mention that and um, i really appreciate it if you do end up purchasing something so let's go ahead and get started with the declutter i actually have this really cute little cup here i purchased from urban outfitters you can use it for hot or cold beverages which i love and it's like plastic slash glass really interesting i have the purple and a few other colors it's so cute okay so in the first drawer here if you guys have been watching my channel for a bit you pretty much know how i organize everything i have a few that are on like the chopping block i would say like this one i make up forever like i think it's good but i don't think it's anything too special like nothing to write home about same thing with this one from valentino like it has a pretty thick formula and I just don't love the way it looks and sits on the skin. What else? The Rare Beauty one also, I mean, you can see I haven't really used this in a bit. It's not looking the best. But also not one that I am obsessed with. I also have this one by Essence, which I keep forgetting about time and time again whenever I open up my drawer. It's one that I just don't even remember seeing, to be honest. And then I have this one by Laura Mercier, which I feel like really just doesn't do much. It just makes your face look a little bit more glowier and hydrated but i mean i have that with like glowy primers it doesn't really give you any coverage i would say at least for me i notice it's not buildable at all so between all of those and the house labs one i'm actually still testing out i do think i like it it's pretty good um i might get rid of this one by laura mercier i'm so happy i purchased a smaller one because um, you know, I was able to see if I liked it or not. I like when I have a, let's say, tinted moisturizer or BB cream that's somewhat buildable. This I just feel like is really, really not. So I'm gonna declare this. And then when it comes to the foundations, I think I might end up keeping the makeup forever and probably declutter this, I'll tell you. I don't know if I'll regret it or not, but I've given it a few chances and I just do, do not like how it looks on the skin. It's possible it's a deep shade, it's LN4, but Nothing really that special, I would say. Someone declutter. All right, you know, I keep saying this, but two seems like a little, but I feel like it's still a decent amount. Okay, then for concealers, which I'm so happy with my selection because I used to have a, it's like a own, like my own separate concealer drawer, and now everything is here, which I just love how more compact it looks. This one by ColourPop, the Pretty Fresh, I don't like. It's a little bit more of a thicker formula and it doesn't blend out super smoothly. I just feel like it's not as hydrating as I would like either. So I just, I'm, there's something about the formula that doesn't like do it for me. So I'm gonna declare this. I think I'm also going to say goodbye to this one by Clinique. I really didn't think it was anything way too special. I do like the even better line from them, but I think also cause this color is very, very yellow toned. Um, it just didn't work well with my skin tone. And then also, I just didn't think the concealer was anything amazing. I prefer, let's see, this one by e.l.f. Have to give this one a little bit more love. This one I like to mix with other ones. It's one of my favorites, the Bendy Avocado from First Aid Beauty. I'm trying to get into the Rare Beauty one. Still don't know what I think about this, but you can see I used it up a little bit. So yeah, it's pretty much a story with these. I think I have some in my makeup bag that I'm currently using. Can't even remember which ones, but. Oh yeah, the Nude 6 one, it's so good. So I actually finished that off recently. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this drawer. 
Moving on to this one, here's where I keep my oils and primers and just like sticker type of stuff. I do have these from Refer that I put here because lately I've been using moisturizers for my primer. Um, unless I need one that's more gripping or like long, long, long lasting, then I'll use like an actual primer like maybe this one by e.l.f. or Tatcha or Urban Decay. But for hydrating, I use one of these or an oil. Like I don't feel like I've actually cut back on purchasing primers. So I'm going to declutter this by Ofra. It's a little bit too deep for me and I just don't like how it sits with my foundation. It's a liquid highlighter so you can mix it in with your foundation or um, wear it on your cheekbones. And I have a different shade that I prefer in the next drawer. Well, in my highlighter drawer. So I'm going to say goodbye to this. And then I really do enjoy the Putty Primers by e.l.f. I just feel like I do have a decent amount that I just don't feel like I need all. So the e.l.f. Duncan I want to keep because, you know, Duncan cookies and dreams. I mean, it's cookies we need. <laughs> this is the Poreless Regular Original Formula, which I love. I have the Luminous one, which I will use if I'm not using an oil. This is also luminous, but they're two different colors. I don't know honestly what the difference is. They might even be the same. Yeah, I think they might just be the same, but just different colors. So I don't think it really matters which one I'm going to declutter or keep. Maybe let's keep the pink one. Okay, so I kept the pink. I'm going to declutter the yellow one. Or do I want to keep the yellow? Yellow. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> let's keep yellow let's declutter pink again okay, i'm putting the yellow back i declutter the pink one only because the original one is more pinky and like this i could see like they're all different colors so that's pretty much it for this drawer eventually i would maybe want to combine um the primers with something else not just have the like its own drawer basically but there's that next up we have oh, those noises always annoy me i have my liners liquid liners here usually primers eye primers, eye pencils, liquid ones here. And then here's where I have powders. I definitely know I want to get rid of probably this one by Physicians Formula. It's pretty white. And as much as it smells amazing and looks adorable, I just don't use purely white powders as much as I used to anymore. It does leave a little bit of, you know, something behind, like almost like a little bit of a shadow or a cast. So I think I'm okay departing parting ways with this one and I have this one from, from Physicians Formula which has a little bit more color which does work out better for me so I'm going to declutter this and then I think I'm also going to say goodbye to this one right here by the Flower Beauty brand I think I mean I finished off a decent amount it'll be maybe it'll be silly for me to get rid of but we can even call this almost an empty um I thought it was okay I it wasn't one that I absolutely loved I mean I'm almost finished with it so I mean I got my use out of it but I haven't used it in probably over six months. So this was a while ago that I used up most of it. Um, I like the Huda one and the Laura Mercier one and just a few other ones at this point in my life that just do much more. And this one I just felt like was not up my alley. So it's okay, but not top five. Okay, then for liners, I mean, I typically use like the black or brown one and then some other fun colors, but I'm gonna declutter these by ColourPop. I just don't feel like they really show much on the waterline. And if I want lighter shades, I mean, I do still have a few more. So with these, they almost almost look whitish. It doesn't really show much of the color. And if it does, it like fades away ultra quickly. So I don't really use them. I'm going to declutter. Okay, moving on to this drawer right over here is where I keep my blushes. The good stuff begins. For this drawer, I think, well, first of all, could we take a second and really appreciate the fact that this collection is now at TJ Maxx? I purchased this from Sephora, but there are TJ Maxx stores now. My TJ Maxx video on this is up. Um, I'm gonna keep that because I still think it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna declutter this one, although the packaging is so gorgeous and it was limited edition. It's the MAC Blush in Melba. I've tried this a few times. I'm gonna try to make it work, but it just, I feel like it's very, very close to my skin tone and I don't see much of a little bit of a little like even a little bit of a difference <laughs> so i think i'm gonna declutter this it's just like a matte peach shade i feel like i wish it would be maybe a little bit deeper and a drop more buildable but this is really like the deepest it's gonna get like it builds up just to this color and i just don't see much of a difference on my skin so it would probably be best suited maybe for those who have ultra fair skin tones um i like the formula and i wanted it to work and i was so excited with the packaging but i just don't see it 
it just doesn't really work out, you know? Even if I want something more subtle, which I usually don't. With blush, I love to go big or go home. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. And then I'm also gonna, I have this palette by Ofra, which I love actually more than the Island Time palette, although I used to love this one. This right here is called Blushful, yeah. And just most of the shades in here I use, especially this one, I love to mix and match. And they're more of a matte formula, which I like. And it looks very smooth on the skin. Island Time is a good one too. When I hit pan on this shade, it was also a good one for the eyes. But we have a highlighter that doesn't really work out too well for me. This blush is ultra light, this one. Sometimes I'll use, and then this one sometimes I'll use as well. But I feel like most of these tones are very similar to maybe what I have in here. And I just don't know if I need an extra, you know, heftier palette of blushes in the drawer. Also because it's, it's always an issue to kind of close this. So I feel like... Yeah, I feel like that makes more sense. In this drawer here, I have cream products, so cream blushes, cream bronzers, and cream highlighters. So this is what I was talking about before. I'd rather use this one by Ofra in Monroe to, you know, use as a highlighter or blend out my foundation if I want to, instead of the other shade. But I want to get rid of these two champagne and rosé stick highlighters. They're really pretty, and from they're from the... RCMA brand, the gorgeous tones are very like very nice. But I just don't use this kind of I guess formula much. I don't really use much from the brand either. I'll be honest, it doesn't really excite me. It doesn't really motivate me, interest me as much. So yeah, these are good products, but I don't really use them. I'd rather use just that's why sometimes I'd rather get get something that's more like you know playful, with the packaging is cooler and nicer because just more of an experience to actually use. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think I'm also going to say goodbye to this. I've had it in my collection for a bit and it might even be brand new now that I'm thinking about it. I thought I would use it for maybe cream contouring, but I have so many other cream contouring products here that I just don't really use it. It's basically a concealer derma tone wheel, but I would have used it for, you know, contouring. I just don't. It's been in my collection for a bit now and I never used it. So I'm going to say goodbye to that one. And next, what I'm going to declutter in this drawer is one of these blushes by elf i noticed with their putty blushes most of the shades do not build up this is in turks and caicos i want to say yeah so it's like a lighter peachy tone and i just don't see that it like it just doesn't build up on my skin tone i wanted it to work out so badly but you know it really didn't this one is one of their luminous blushes, which I find to work out much better. It gives you that like nice glow without overdoing it, I feel like. But also the shade builds up more. So I really feel like with these specific products, since the formula is a little bit more... Well, since the formula is not that buildable. <laughs> Most of the light shades just don't really work out too well. You can get maybe even this vibe by using this, but lighter, a lighter hand with this one, you know? So I'm going to declutter this and keep the luminous one. I do like that one a bit more. Okay, and then the last item I'm going to declutter here is this blush by LYS. This is in higher standard. I have the other shades here too, which I love. I love these tones. They're very pretty. They work out well for my skin tone, and I just enjoy them. This is a little bit too dark, and I just don't go for such shades really on for my face, like my skin tone. You could mix these if you really want to, but typically I'll use this on its own, and I just, I'm not obsessed with the look, you know? Like, so like deeper purples, raspberry tones. I keep trying over and over again, and I'm like, maybe it'll be one that I like. Maybe it'll be like a, you know, it'll be like a different type of undertone that I'll be obsessed with, but it'll be like in the purple family or raspberry family, but I just, it's not it with this. I got rid of the Tower 28 one. And I love their formula, the cream blush formula. Obsessed with these. This is also like a little bit of a darker shade, but it still works out like a little bit better. Um, but they have an even darker one that I ended up decluttering because it was still like just really dark. That's all for this drawer. Okay, next up we have my highlighters. And in this drawer, you know, I really don't use this one way too much by Natasha Denona. Part of me wants to declutter it, but then I'm like, do I want it? Do I not? I really don't use it as much as I used to. So that one we're still in the middle with. Um, I think I want to declutter one or two of the Ofra highlighters as much as I love these. The formula is great. I do have just so much 
from them already, which, I mean, I prefer this little guy because you can mix and match. It's such a good, good one. Um, a lot of these, or a few of these, I would say, are pretty deep, so I don't really use all of them. This one is in Glazed Donut. Love it. Wait, whiter shade. Pink Bliss is a little bit dark for my liking, but I could use it lightly and it could still work, so that's a maybe. This, I don't know if I love. I don't love such yellowy toned highlighters and this purple, but I don't have a lot like that, so. This is very pretty. I love this. This is Pillow Talk. Yeah, it's so good. It's like a white with a little pink hue. This is also gorgeous. This is the Start Inspired Highlighter. You get two of the shades in there. Then we have Peppermint, which this I think I'm okay decluttering. I think this came out last year. It's like a, yeah, like pinky toned. Mm. What color would this really be? It's very gorgeous. Like it's gorgeous, it's very pretty. But I think, yeah, I'd rather this one than this. Like they're pretty similar-ish, I guess. So I'm gonna get rid of Peppermint. And I have three more back here. I wanna see if I wanna keep them or declutter. This is in Mother Earth. I wanna keep this because it's so unique. It's like a white that turns, that has like this cool shift to it, almost green. Very, very pretty. Then we have this one in Gumdrop, which also I don't wear such shades, but I really don't have a lot like that. And then this one was limited edition. It's Stars and Stripes, I think. I'm gonna declutter this one. Cause I have other ones that I can mix and match, I can get the same vibe. And now I really feel like with most of the highlighters that I have from Ofra, I'm really gonna use most of them. All of them probably. I love these, they're so nice and, and intense, but they look really pretty on the cheeks. So there's that, we have a little bit more breathable space here. I don't like this one actually, but I'll probably eventually declutter it. All right, next up, I have my bronzer drawer. Really don't have way too much in here. I don't even know what I would wanna get rid of. Thank you. So in this drawer, I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this one, which I know a lot of you guys who are Breakfast Club fans are probably gonna be like, no. But I mean, it's a nice palette. I just don't really reach for it as much. I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of this movie. Uh, so it doesn't really hit home for me. And it's not one that I gravitate towards. You get nice bronzers here, really pretty blushes and some highlighters too. But I think I have similar tones to these. And then for these bronzers, I have other ones that are also just like really pretty much the same. This highlighter I don't use as much. And this, you know, it's okay. I think I'm okay parting ways with this one. So I'm going to declutter the volume one um, palette. And then I'm also going to declutter one of these by Physicians Formula as well. So I have two of these that are, you know, they're not the same, but they're almost-ish. We have the Butter Bronzer shade, and this is the, wait, Light Bronzer, and this is Deep Bronzer. I prefer Deep Bronzer. I just feel like it's easy to build up. It doesn't look way too much, and I can also wear it lighter if I would like. Um, this one also is pretty good. It's also pretty buildable, not as buildable as a Deep Bronzer but still really, really nice. I just don't feel like I necessarily need both on hand since they're practically the same thing, just different shades. So I'm gonna just keep this one. All right, we are moving down to palettes, which are my two bottom drawers. Okay, so here is drawer number one. What are we getting rid of here? I think I'm okay parting ways with this one by the Hindish brand. I used it a decent amount, I would say back in January and I think the concept is amazing. I think it's really cool. I just noticed I don't really reach for These shades these four really just these two and I don't know if I want to keep it just for that I like how each one is kind of like Ombre almost so you get the best of both worlds But if I'm really only speaking about these two I have this one in a blush here You get a deeper burgundy and a black which I have multiples of those and then this blush is okay This I'll never ever use and these two this I'll also never use in this Maybe. So. I mean, I got my use out of it back in January, but I can't remember um, a time I used it after that. And it's been, what, 10, 11 months that I haven't pulled this out. So it's like a good sign of me being like, yep, it's not really something that I wanna 
probably have and keep because I'm just not gonna, I just don't see myself gravitating towards it. So I'm gonna declutter this. And now I have room for the Pat McGrath one. Put her there. I don't know if there's any other one I wanna get rid of in this drawer. Let's check out this one. This one is like about to, about to set. I think I'm gonna declutter this one by Too Faced just doesn't really hit home. I expected a little bit more with this. I thought the quality would be much nicer. I mean, it's okay. It's not like the worst thing ever, but anytime I'm reaching for this kind of color story, I'll typically just pull out this one by ColourPop, which is like my ride or die beautiful green palette of life. I'm just obsessed with how this looks on the cheeks. I mean, on the eyes, so pretty, like the best thing ever. And a lot of the tones are very, very similar, except for this one, you get some like Neutral tones here, it's mainly greens. And this shade here specifically, I do not like how it looks on my lids. I think it just looks a little bit off. And this color, I just also am not really that obsessed with. If you take those away, there isn't really much to offer here. So I wanna declutter this and, I mean, obviously keep this one. Um, if you did want it, I know it's always on sale and I know we spot these at TJ Maxx as well. So you can get it on like super sale, maybe like 15 bucks. But I used to love these by Too Faced. They really like always intrigued me. And I always gotten so inspired to use them, but the last few they released, I was like, you know, it's okay, nothing crazy. Um, so we'll see. I'm waiting for a color story that really knocks my socks off my feet. So I'm gonna declutter this as well. Next up, we got this drawer is where I keep my brow products and mascara. So mascaras I typically go through every so often because I have ones that are just older, so I just kind of get it out right away. So I don't think I have anything here that needs to bounce. I think that they're all fairly new. This one I kept in the box to remind myself that it's not like old, you know? For brow products, I'm gonna do kind of this one for once and for all. <laughs> the Chocolate Brownie one by Too Faced. I just don't like the 3D shape to it and I just didn't enjoy what it did for my brows. I wanted to use it up because it's so pricey, you know? But I don't, I just don't. And I don't use these type of products as much as I used to. I use like the flicking of brow product more often. So I'm gonna declutter that. I'm also gonna say goodbye to this by Benefit. This is just not my shade. It's the Brow Microblading Pen, which again, it's like a flicking brow product. It's more of like an inky, you know, situation. I'll show you. Here you can see, you flick it off in the brows and it creates like hair-like strokes. This right here is 100% not my color. I don't know how I ended up with light brown. For this, it's very light in tone, and I find that it's not as pigmented as the NYX one. So even if you do have light brown, I would say get a shade deeper so it actually like does show up. Unless you like super, super light brows, then stick with your shade. But I, I, yeah, I need to get my shade, and then hopefully it'll work out. I love the concept, and these are products that I use often, but this one is so light for me. It almost is annoying to use because it's so light, and I just can't get anything out. Um, okay, that's all I want to say for the store. I use everything else in here. Claire Brow Gel, I use ultra often. Some of these are almost done. But yeah, okay, moving on to the next one. We have, here's where I put my lashes. So I'm going to be cluttering any of those, obviously, because it's all brand new practically. Here's where I have some lip products. And they're all kind of like mixed up. I would really wish to kind of organize everything. I'm still not sure how to do it. Do I do all glosses or do I divide them by color? You know, a part of me kind of just feels like just divide by color, but then I want to know what finishes I also have. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, one gloss I'm gonna declutter is this one. It's a plumping deeper gloss by Physicians Formula in Brilliant Berry Diamond. I don't really wear such shades, especially in the plumping formula. I have this one, which I prefer much more, and another one floating around here. And I think I'm also gonna declare this one the Sephora collection. I think it's actually a little bit more on the older side. I use a decent amount, but yeah, I think it's kind of getting old. So I think I wanna say goodbye to her as well. That's all for this one. And this one here I have like lipsticks mainly. I'm gonna be declutter this. I really just am not a fan of these by Urban Decay. And I don't know why it went so viral, but they kind of suck. They're very crusty on the lips. So, and that color is just not one that I'll really ever use in Strangers, I think is what it's called. Cool packaging though. Ooh, it's probably this one by KVD. I don't even know what this is in. Lolita, I never, ever, ever use this. And I have other shades like this from my Ofer Liquid Lipsticks, which I'll 
probably pull out more. So there's that. Again, got to organize ASAP. Here is where I have my polishes, which I'm kind of proud of because I used to have like a whole drawer of polishes and like a whole massive section. But I love that I'm just keeping it to this. I would love to get a few more colors though because I mostly have summer shades here. But here's where I have my lip balms. I'm going to declutter the Trader Joe's one. Trader Hoshua is, the one my, is how my brother calls it. This is just a little bit more on the waxier side. And compared to other ones that I have, I just don't like it. It's in marshmallow, so I'm going to keep declutter that. And then the Blistex one, it's good. But I think it's expired. I just don't love this as much. It's like good to grab and go with, and it was so affordable and cheap, so it's good, you know, if I have nothing else. But I have a decent amount to choose from here, so I'm going to declutter the Blistex and keep these guys. All right, so this is pretty much it when it comes to what... I'm decluttering. I will be posting, probably not all, but some of these on Poshmark, the ones that I did purchase, the ones that were gifted. I'll probably just include free with the order or just give it to friends. So that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing, like going through my collection and decluttering products with me. I would love to do a makeup collection 2023 video sometime soon so that's on the agenda and now that i feel a drop lighter with these makeup items decluttered i feel like you guys will get like a better glimpse of what i actually you know have what i use what i enjoy how i store everything the full nine yards um, i'm looking forward to reading your comments down below and i'll see you all in my next video